The ten poodle commandments. It's the ten cool commandments. Sorry about that. Good morning, guys. It's Archer here again. And today we've got the poodle facts video. I'm going to give you ten facts about poodles. Mainly standard poodles because that, that's what I own. Uh, Jessie's here. Say hi. No, not that way. <laughs> She's only here because shh, I put a cookie in my pocket and she can smell it. All right, so let's dive right into these facts about poodles. Fact number one, poodles are part of the non-sporting group. These are standard poodles. Standard poodles are part of the non-sporting group, while toy poodles are part of the toy group. As I told you guys before in the other video, all poodles, not all poodles, all dogs are part of a specific dog group. So I don't know why poodles aren't part of the sporting group or like the retrievers, but non-sporting is fine too, I guess. Fact number two, poodles did not originate in France. Now everybody associates uh, standard poodles with like Parisian couture and um, just like the, the dog like, of France, but that's not true. Poodles actually originated in Germany. Uh, toy poodles, actually toy poodles might have originated in France. I'm not actually sure. Sorry about that. Fact number four, three, three, yeah. Poodle is German for puddle. That's because they are waterfowl dogs. They were bred to hunt with their owners and uh, retrieve waterfowl. So another dog that would do this would be a golden retriever or a Labrador retriever. You gotta stay for the video because I got your cookie and you know that. <laughs> Don't sniff the camera, please. I love you. So what would happen is a hunter would shoot a duck or a goose or kind of uh, any bird and it would land in the water. And that dog would have to swim in the water to get, <laughs> to get that duck or goose and retrieve it back to their owner. Jesse is now taking extensive measures to get the cookie. I'm scared. <laughs> Fact number four, poodles have webbed feet. Uh, yep. Not only ducks have this, dogs have this. Uh, retrievers also have this. A lot of other dogs have webbed feet so that they can swim better in the water to retrieve that waterfowl. And the dog is moving way too much for me to pick up her paw and let you see that. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on the camera anyway. But fun fact, huh? Fact number five, poodles come in three popular sizes. Standard, miniature, and toy. See, standard is, uh, well... Jessie doesn't exactly look like a standard. See, she was the run to the litter, so she's actually about the size of maybe smaller than a standard, but larger than a miniature, if that's any kind of a uh, size scale for you guys. Standards are kind of large, kind of like a golden retriever size. Uh, miniatures are a really good size. They're about the size of, let me think here, like a schnauzer. Uh, and toys are about the size of a chihuahua, which you would expect. Um, miniatures are a really good size if you want that in-between dog, um, like for an apartment, but you don't want it too big, like a standard. Three sizes. Love them all. Poodles can come in the following natural colors, and I'm gonna hurry through them. Ready? Okay. White, cream, tan, apricot, red, chocolate, black, blue, silver, party color, blue, no, wait. Party color black and party color chocolate. I'm sorry guys, I didn't have to rush through that, I just did. Uh, if you guys don't know, party color is actually like just black and white coloring or brown and white coloring. Uh, kind of like if you see a horse that's uh, painted, you know, either painted uh, brown or painted black, it's just white and black or white and brown. <laughs> Fun fact, we originally were getting, um, well, we were told we were getting a black poodle. But her mother was black um, and her father was blue. So over time, Jessie's coloring became less black and more like blue. Uh, and whenever dogs get older anyway, if you have a black dog, they're going to get like gray on their uh, muzzle and stuff. But whenever Jessie was like really, really young, that blue fluff just kind of started coming in with her ears and on the tops of her head. And so she's our, she's our little black and blue dog. Now, as you guys have probably seen, uh, you don't have to get your poodle cut, you know, with the froofy hair 
and the big pom-poms. Um, my dog, you know, she's not cut like that. And, excuse me, excuse me, hi. What, what's given to her is called a puppy cut. However, the pom-poms that are on their hips, that was made specifically for warmth whenever they were used for hunting. Uh, they would cut them down short so that their hair wouldn't get tangled up in briars or anything, but they left a pom-pom on their hips so that when they were swimming, uh, they would be warm in the winter. So, it's functional fluff. We are at fact number eight No, We're at fact number nine now. How, how classy is that? Uh, fact number nine. Poodles are the third most intelligent dogs in the world. And they are third only to the Border Collie and the German Shepherd. Guys, these guys are so smart. I know mine seems like an idiot, but that's just because she's used to... I'm not gonna say it. That's because she's used to being in our family, sorry. <laughs> Jessie actually knows several tricks. She knows how to shake with both paws. She knows how to give high fives with both paws. She knows how to sit up on her hind legs. I see you and I feel you sniffing my pocket. She wants the cookie so bad. Uh, she knows how to crawl. She knows how to run. <laughs> Stop pawing me! She knows how to roll over and she knows how to play dead. Ah! <laughs> okay, and fact number 10. These dogs make excellent... Don't you do it! <laughs> they make excellent... Excuse me. They make excellent service dogs. <laughs> these dogs make no. These dogs make excellent service dogs uh, because of their hypoallergenic hair, their intelligence, and their sharp wit. You know, they learn very, very quickly, and from their very sweet nature. They're very good with kids, and they're very good with older people if you train them right. But that's with every single dog. You have to train them very well. It's just that poodles are um, they're very easy to train because they're so smart. I'm not, I'm not bashing other dogs. Just they're very smart. Um, usually, when you see a service dog, you see them uh, as like golden retrievers or Labrador retrievers. Uh, but I have seen several poodle um, service dogs, and they do a great job of just being calm and making the other person feel comfortable. Okay, guys, that has been ten poodle facts. Oh my gosh, you, you wear me out. That dog, she wears me out. She actually pushed the door open with her nose. She's like, I'm out of here. I got my food. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And be ready for the next video because the next video is coming out and I have a surprise for you guys. It's something new that we're going to be doing. I say we. I don't know. Jessie doesn't seem like she's going to help me again. Um, but if you like what I do, please subscribe. You know, that's only if you like me enough to watch me every week. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!